Thank you, Doug. And uh, it's great to be here with everybody today. You know, just about two years ago, I joined Western Union to lead our digital transformation program, building on my experience at Accenture, where I created a business called Accenture Digital, designed to help companies across all industries envision and deliver growth through digital reinvention. But I didn't join Western Union just to lead the digital transformation program. I actually joined for an opportunity to help underserved communities across the world gain access to financial services. You know, 170 years ago, Western Union was best known for its telegram services. Today, we're best known for our money transfer services, enabling people and communities in literally every corner of the world with choice. Choice in terms of leveraging our vast digital and retail networks. But we're not stopping here. We have an ambitious business transformation program underway as we begin to extend beyond money transfer. And ambitious business transform transformation programs like we have underway require several things. Bold decisions, a commitment and culture of change, strong technology foundation, and of course, lots of great partners. That's one of the reasons we chose AWS, not just for their depth and breadth of service offerings, but for their know-how, for their passion, their commitment actually to help businesses transform and for their great network of partners that are available to help us with all the big changes that come through reinvention. Speaking of change, no organization can change everything at once. Yet at the same time, every business has to figure out how to manage and evolve that existing business while at the same time finding those breakthroughs to create the future all at once. And instinctively, people don't really like change. So as a leader, it can take an awful lot of energy to create new ways of working and new cultures that can really embrace change for meaningful results. So today, I'm gonna to share with you three lessons that I've learned in creating and leading organizations through change and through digital transformation. Embrace the mess, close the learning loops, and make your technology strategy your business strategy. You know, transformation, or shall I say reinvention, is hard, it's messy, it's complex. But if you can really learn to embrace that mess, you can harness it for very meaningful results. The first step is to create a team, a team of disruptors and balancers. These disruptors, always bringing a new idea, passion to move as fast as possible, always thinking of new ways of doing things. The balancers those who understand the gotchas and the complexities that must be considered along the way. And then as a leader, you must have a tremendous amount of patience and really, really great listening skills to allow enough time for healthy debate and to create an environment with just enough chaos to spark new ideas. It's usually the messiest conversations that create the biggest breakthroughs. So as a leader, you have to learn when is it time to step in and create the chaos versus maybe when it's time to step in and guide the chaos a bit. And you can't forget that organizations need time and practice at learning how to debate in healthy ways. And partners are critical, so don't forget to include them in thinking of your disruptors and your balancers as well. One way to engage with your partners in healthy debate and sparking new ideas is just to set aside that RFP and proposal process and instead engage with your partners in hands-on delivery sprints. It's a great way to learn how to work together and really understand what a partner can bring to the table. Let me just share a quick example. At Western Union, we decided we wanted to modernize our vast payment network so we could uh, open it up for new business models in the future. We didn't know exactly how we wanted to do this, but we knew we wanted to use the latest and greatest of everything on the market. So we engaged with two partners simultaneously in a hands-on discovery sprint. They each brought different ideas, different approaches, different architectures. Ultimately, we landed on an approach using elements from each partner. And we actually hired both partners to help us bring our payment hub vision to reality. But, Creating an environment for healthy debate and sparking new ideas isn't enough. You also need to create new mindsets, new routines for learning across your entire organization. One of my favorites and the simplest routines to create is to get in a habit of asking yourself and your teams, what have we learned and now how are we going to adjust? In the end, this is about closing learning loops as quickly and as effectively as you can. 
including with your partners, by the way. So make sure you include them in those conversations about what have we learned and how are we going to adjust. Let me share another example. We made a bold decision to migrate our core transaction engine from the mainframe into the cloud. Quite an endeavor, given we, we operate 24 by 7 in literally every corner of the world, and we're refactoring over 7 million lines of code that has not been touched in decades. And our initial approach was kind of like an on-off switch. Data's in the cloud or it's on the mainframe. Unfortunately, that proved to be too risky in our first migration. Fortunately, our partner TCS and us had already established a relationship of continuous learning and continuous improvement. So they brought a better idea to the table, the idea of a smart router, where we could have data in the cloud and on the mainframe at the same time, allowing our new world and our old worlds to coexist. And AWS is playing a very important role for us in terms of closing our learning loops as we mature our cloud operations, as we move more and more of our technology to the cloud. I think we can probably all agree that every business today is enabled by technology. And probably every large established organization you talk to would tell you technology is their biggest enabler and also their biggest inhibitor. This is because technology is disrupting literally every industry in terms of the products and the experiences you can offer your customers. Also in terms of the business models and cost structures in which you can create. This is why it's not good enough to modernize your technology to support your legacy business strategy. It's important to make your technology strategy your business strategy and critical to have a tech savvy leadership team to support you. At Western Union, we have our fair share of legacy technology and the challenges that go with that. So just about a year ago, we decided we were going to launch a new product and improve our existing business all at the same time. We had a vision for a new kind of digital bank, one to offer borderless financial services to those who might otherwise be underserved. And working with AWS and partners like Deloitte, we are able to create and launch our digital bank in record time. I'm pleased to share that we're now in a controlled market launch in a couple of countries in Europe. And this is such an important, uh, uh, this milestone for us as a business. It, it's offering us new opportunities in the future in terms of business models that we might be able to move into. But it's actually even more than that. Because we did this in a way that the, we established a new technology foundation that's actually improving our existing business at the same time. And with the lessons that we've learned working with partners like Deloitte, we've also established a new cultural foundation in terms of learning how to work differently. And the best part is, we're just getting started. So we have a lot of change and fun and reinvention ahead as we continue to reinvent how we connect the world and offer financial services to those who might otherwise be unserved. Thank you for your time today, and I hope you find success in embracing the mess, closing the learning loops, and making your technology strategy your business strategy. Thank you.